The Chicago Bears head to Minnesota for Monday Night Football this week, coming off a game they had in their hands and fumbled away. Tyler Scott loses the football, still loose on the deck. Who wants it? But it's going to be Detroit football. Bear down was like, oh no, our draft pick keeps getting better. Skull, though, let out the real oh no last week. Five-game win streak snap. Vikings bring the heat again. Wilson throws up the grabs and it's caught for the touchdown! Minnesota clearly with more incentive to put Big Sean on repeat this week and try and bounce back. But Justin Fields has plenty of incentive to try and show out. Six games left now to show what's up, so don't be shocked to see him keep using his dual threat skills to the max, again like he did last week. And Fields takes off! Fields with a big run! Fields still on his feet! And he slides down inside the 35! Fields used his legs 18 times versus Detroit, far more often than he had this season, ran for 104 yards. Fields trying to take advantage. Good run for Justin Fields. Minnesota, for what it's worth, has given up 4.8 yards per carry to quarterbacks as runners. That's not too bad. Fields, the passer, though, looked pretty sharp, too, rating over 100, a touchdown, no INTs, over 7 yards per attempt. That's good stuff. Fields climbs, Fields throws, touchdown! One, two, punch delivers! It's Fields to Moore for the lead! Only 169 yards, but still, it's the quality of the play that matters most. So, Minnesota is the number one blitzing defense. Last week, though, defensive coordinator Brian Flores chose to dial it way back. Russell Wilson's numbers against the Blitz were pretty good. But so are Fields, 92.7 rate against five plus pass rushers, four TDs against them. Touchdown, DJ Moore! Fields has a 93.3 rating for the season, 12 touchdowns, six picks. But know what? He has the highest TD rate of any quarterback. Chicago just doesn't throw a ton. Late pressure coming, but it doesn't reach him. Throws downfield, he's got DJ Moore over the shoulder, 20. 15 and out of bounds. DJ Moore, Bears most consistent dangerous pass catcher. Seven catches, 96 yards, a touchdown versus Detroit. Five more targets than anyone else on the team. Fields throws underneath. DJ Moore gets away from Joseph. And Moore fighting for the first down. Wow. The Minnesota defense those guys faced this week just gave up close to 260 yards to Wilson in their loss. A touchdown, no picks, a rating over 100. Second and seven, Wilson trying to shut down. Field. Held on to, let's see, Sutton catches it. Vikings gave up 60 yards to running back Samaji P. Ryan, 58 yards to Jerry Judy, 66 yards, and the game winner to Cortland Sutton. That pencils out to a fat 106.7 rating. Second throw, P. Ryan again on the backfield, 10 on the last one. On this one, he gets 17 yards. That showing does not fit their body of work versus wide receivers, though. From weeks 4 to 10, Minnesota held wideouts to a 70.4 rating. They're holding them to a sub-90 rate for the year still. And Wilson taking that shot towards the end zone in traffic. Nearly intercepted by Josh Patelis. They're not tough on tight ends though, rating allowed to that spot 113.2. Chicago tight end Cole Komet has a few big games this season. He's field's clear number two most games too. This was an ill-advised throw. What an unbelievable catch by Cole Komet. And he, can, and he cups it too. No movement when he hits the ground. Vikings defense overall has been tough to score on lately. Only one team has gotten them for more than 21 points in their last six games. Much of the credit should go to that pass rush. DJ Wanham, a sack last week, has a half dozen now, has one or more in three of his last four games. Wilson trying to get away, cannot do it! DJ Wanham! And the King QB Hunter in the NFL, a dozen QB conquests now. Daniil got home again last week, a bag in six of his last seven outings. In trouble, trying to escape and cannot. Few have escaped from Daniil Hunter this year. Fields doesn't have a game played where he didn't get buried at least twice. Play fake. Now here's a pass. If Fields can get it off, which he cannot. Brings us to the Vikings offense. Joshua Dobbs comes off his first rough game dressed in purple. Part of it was the pressure he had to deal with. Took two sacks, got hit ten times. Dobbs, pressure, can't escape Cooper and he's brought down. His pass play suffered as a result. 80.3 rating, a touchdown, a pick, under seven yards per attempt. Play Dobbs arm, hands it through! It's intercepted! It's McMillan! First and goal for the Broncos! In turn, none of his key pass catchers did too much. Jordan Addison scratched out 44 yards. Dobbs, complete sideline, one short. Of the first down is Jordan Addison. Tight end TJ Hawkinson, 55 yards. Dobbs with the puck and a throw in the middle. Hawkinson again at the 11 yard 
drive. Minnesota's line did give Dobbs time, and he pulled some rabbits out of the proverbial magic hat. It wasn't a terrible outing for him. Dobbs lost it. Wide open to the tight end, Oliver. Across midfield to the 46. But his receivers often could not separate quick enough versus a very tough Denver secondary. So could the Bears give him similar problems? Their secondary had its best showing of the year versus Detroit, picked off Jared Goff three times. That's first and 20, and Goff throws another one away. And this time it's TJ Edwards. And Dobbs has Montez Sweat to worry about. He got his first sack as a Bear last week. The team had two, but a very healthy eight QB hits against a top tier O-line. Pressure coming from Jack Sanborn here, and he just came around the edge and wrapped up Jared Goff. The Bears have not played the pass well in 2023, haven't rushed the QB with great success either, and they gave up big numbers to Detroit's run game, 5.2 a carry, two backs hit at 4.5 or better. Montgomery run between the tackles, and he's dragging Jaquan Brisker all the way out to the 45. Minnesota's run game, dormant most games outside of Dobbs, showed signs of life versus the Broncos at least. Ty Chandler, 7.3 a run, 10 carries, that equals 73 yards. That's math I can handle. Chandler protects it, gets through the hole. It's a nice running from Ty Chandler for a first down. Alexander Madison, 81 yards, 18 carries. We have seen guys with solid contact, arms wrapped around, and these two backs just keep grinding their way and spinning their way down the football field. These two did play already. That was the game Fields got hurt in. So it was Tyson Bagent versus Kirk Cousins. Vikings won for what it's worth. Josh Mattel is forced to fumble. It's bouncing about, picked up by Jordan Hicks. 40, 30, and is loose! Touchdown! Who's gonna hit it? Will it bounce back? Just depends on if it's real, I suppose. You lay out your takes in the comments section. Let's hit the panel of 10 now. They're real, they always bounce back.